To determine the spring constant from a position versus time graph for an object that is oscillating on a spring, simply use the formula period equals 2 pi radical m over k. You're looking for the k value, the spring constant, so it will tell you the mass and then you determine the period from the graph. There's lots of ways you can determine the period. For this one, which seems like a very long period, the best way may be to pick two spots on the graph that are exactly one oscillation apart. In this case, I picked the two lowest points, but you can pick any spot you want that are one full oscillation apart and realize that the time it takes for that oscillation is the period. So measure the time where that position occurred first. Measure where it occurs the next time. Subtract to get the time for one oscillation. Plug it in and solve for the spring constant. Make sure when you plug in your mass that you're plugging it in in kilograms, not in grams. So that's how you get the spring constant from your graph.